Lieutenant Colonel Teresa Long uh, also is going to talk about what she has found inside the information system within the Depart Department of Defense. So, Dr. Long. Senator, in January 2021, I came before you as a military whistleblower reporting catastrophic increases in illnesses and injuries across the DOD being reported in the DMED. These concerns were brushed aside by the DOD as data glitches in our defense medical surveillance system. It was reported that this computer glitch was fixed. Per your request for an update, last night I ran a query in the Defense Medical Epidemiology database looking at all illnesses and injuries across the DOD. As you can see, um, the total number of reportable events went from 110,000 in 2020 to over 200,000 in 2022. The vaccine was introduced into the military in January of 2021. A reportable event is defined um, as an inherent significant threat to public health and military operations. A reportable event um, represents severe life-threatening clinical manifestations that disrupt military training and deployment. These numbers are consistent with the over um, statistically significant rise in vaccine adverse event reports on service members as provided to me by the CDC, showing 34,000 reports and 119 deaths. Compare this, Senator, to the 93 deaths of service members that were attributed to SARS-CoV-2 infection. Clearly the risk of the vaccine has already outweighed the benefit. Military vaccine mandates are dangerous and deadly and they must stop immediately. Thank you, Dr. Long. So again, we see these safety signals and we are asking why are they being ignored? 